Hello everybody, Conti here with another video. How to create a snowfall effect in a static image or video shot in DaVinci Resolve 17. Inside your edit window, hold Ctrl and press I to insert a static video or image shot into your project. Use Command instead of Ctrl if you are a Mac user. Inside your Media Pool Master Bin, find the thumbnail of the image or video file that you have inserted. Select this and drag this to the start of your edits timeline. Should your image or video file not stretch across the entire frame, such as this example where the black voids are visible on the left and right hand sides, select the image or video edit on your timeline. Go to Inspector. Under Transform, increase the values of Zoom X and Y. In this example, I will increase these values to 1.2. Before creating the snowfall effect, we need to select a specific snow color shade from your video or image file. One way to do this is to first go to the effects library. Underneath toolbox, select generators and go to find solid color. Click and drag this to the side of your video or image edit on your timeline. Select the solid color edit. Back in inspector and under video, Double click in the box next to color. Shift the select color window to the side so that you can see your whole video or image. Choose pick screen color. Using your mouse cursor, go to select a bright snow shade on your video or image. Try to select the most vibrant snow shade that you can find. In this case here, I will click on the snow shade on the path and the hexadecimal code for this particular shade will appear in the HTML box at the bottom of your select color window. You will need to refer to this code when setting the color of your snowflake particles later on. The intensity of your snowflake shade can be adjusted using the arrow by the right-sided column here. Once you have selected a color shade that you are satisfied with, double click on the code next to HTML so that it is highlighted and hold in Ctrl and press C to copy. Click OK. Returning to your effects library, go to Effects and go to Find Fusion Composition. Select and drag one of these to your edits timeline to a video track above your original image or video. Ensure that both of these are parallel with each other. Using the Selection Mode tool which you can also choose by pressing A, Drag your red playhead to the end of your fusion composition and image or video edit. To check the duration, in this example, the video will play for a duration of five seconds. Bear in mind that we will remove the solid color edit from the timeline before rendering. To adjust the length of your edit, shift the solid color edit out of the way. Deselect the solid color edit. Hold in control and select the fusion composition and video or image edit. And click and drag from the side to resize these edits if you wish. Click on any empty section on the timeline to deselect your media clips. Right click on your fusion composition edit. And go to open in fusion page. Inside your nodes panel, hold shift and press space to open up the select tool window. Use the search box at the bottom to find the ellipse tool. Select this and go to click on add. Hover your mouse cursor over this new node and left click once in the small black circle to the right inside the little box which appears underneath ellipse one. A preview of your ellipse shape should appear in the screen above your frame timeline. This will be the appearance of each of your snowflake particles. With the ellipse one node selected, go to inspector and underneath controls, change soft edge to 0.04. Change width and height to 0.05. Hold shift and press space again and go to add the P emitter tool. With this new node selected, under controls in inspector, change number under emitter from 10 to 2 to reduce the number of particles that will be floating on screen. 
for a heavier snowfall, increase this particular value. To vary the amount of particles falling slightly, change the number variance to 0.05. Click on Velocity. For a gentle snowfall speed, change Velocity to 0.1. The higher the velocity value, the quicker your snowflakes will fall. To ensure that the snowflakes fall from the top right corner, set angle to minus 110. To vary the part in which the new snowflakes fall from the top right corner, change angle variance to 10. To make the particles appear that they are approaching and moving away from the viewer slightly, Change angle Z variance to 10 also. Now to determine where the particles fall from, as at present they will come from the centre of the screen as indicated by the red circle which is appearing on your preview. Go to region, change region from sphere to line. Change start X offset to 1.0. A line should appear stretching outwards beyond the frame of your video or image. You may wish to use slightly different values here depending on the size of your video or image frame. Change start Y offset to 0.28. End X offset should be minus 0.5. And change end Y offset to 0.28. To shift the line to the top left corner also to ensure that the snowfall covers the whole canvas. In order to connect your ellipse node to this particular emitter node, go to Style and change Style from Point to Bitmap. A yellow arrow should now appear to the left of your P emitter node. Connect your ellipse node to this. With the P emitter node still selected, Hold shift and press space and go to add P turbulence. With this node selected, under inspector and controls, change X strength to 0.2. The increase in this value will enable the snowflakes to shift sideways more as they fall. And increase Z strength to 0.2 also, to add to the effect of snowflakes flowing to and away from the viewer. To enhance the gentle floating snowflake effect, reduce the density of these particles to 5. With P turbulence still selected, hold shift and press space again. And go to add P render, which will enable the particles to be processed in your final video. Connect this P render node to media out 1. Should your P render node not connect to media out 1 at all, with your P render node selected, hold shift and press space and go to add a new media out one node instead. You should now have your first layer of falling snowflakes in your project. Return to your edits window. The solid color edits can now be removed. Select this solid color edit and press delete. Now to create other layers of snowflakes. One with snowflakes falling closer to the viewer and then another one with snowflakes falling further away from the viewer. Select your Fusion Composition Edit. Hold Ctrl and press C to copy. Click and drag this Fusion Composition to a video track above, ensuring that this is still parallel with your video or image. With the red playhead in place at the zero second mark at the start of your video and your Fusion Composition, hold Ctrl and press V to paste. This newly pasted edit will feature snowflakes which appear closer to the viewer. With this edit selected, go to Inspector, under Transform, change Zoom X and Y to 3.5. Right click on this newly pasted edit and go to Open Infusion page. Select Ellipse 1. To reduce the transparency of these closer snowflakes, since they will be closer to the camera, Reduce soft edge to 0.03 and to reduce minor obstructions from too many closer snowflakes on your screen, go to P emitter and change number from 2 to 1. Return to your edits window. 
Now to create the final layer featuring the snowflakes further in the distance. Go to select your original fusion clip which will be in the upper video track. Hold Ctrl and press C to copy. Click and drag this original fusion composition to the video track above. With the red play hit in place at 0 seconds, hold in Ctrl and press V to paste. Ensure that all clips are parallel with each other on the timeline. Right click on this newly pasted edit and go to open in Fusion page. Select ellipse 1. To help the smaller snowflakes in the distance become clearer on screen, reduce soft edge to 0.02. And to reduce the size of the snowflakes, reduce width and height to 0.02 also. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.